back is welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. In this part, we are gonna see a bunch of cutscenes and some fighting. So and also, how Sora and Roxas are connected and how we can finally awesome. set Roxas free. But let's watch and see how that works. Samness! Roxas should never have existed in the first place. What you seek is impossible. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just Data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside Data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Oh. Handsome and Xemnas used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. Oh. If they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah! Yeah, you tell them, Captain <laughs> In that case, by all means. Nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You wish? He'll never answer to you again. Still so blind. A nobody is what's left behind. When one gives his heart to darkness, there is only one way to bring Roxas back which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. <laughs> <gasps> Set your heart free. Wait! Sora! It's not darkness. Not if it helps him. Our new friends left us a parting gift, which are a bunch of enemies. Nothing we haven't seen before, and nothing that we can't handle as a team, because our team is the best. Immediately we are starting off with the great combination of Donald, Duck and Sora. A bunch of flare things. And also we can use the Keyblade for some magic shots, magic darts, whatever you want to call them, projectiles. It's all good as long as it destroys enemies. We have also a bunch of magic and it's all epic looking. Now this part we're also gonna meet Uncle Scrooge, meaning Scrooge McDuck. Donald and him are gonna be happy that I met each other again. Little Chef is gonna make a comeback too. However it is, we are in for a bunch of things to come. But for now, we are driving in pickups and dealing with the enemies. said he said with all my heart okay then all my heart it is I'm getting Roxas out are you with me Donald Goofy <laughs> you you. I don't know what Ansem and Xemnas want but I think we better tell the others to watch out <laughs> Okay, then. Let's head back to town. <laughs> In order to get that idea what to do after this fight, we had to go back to town. But path to town was full of enemies. In the woods. 
not a problem because these are the same enemies, the Heartless, that we can destroy quite easily. So, as long as it's not too big of a group and too nasty of a group, thankfully this one isn't. These are all basic enemies and we can use magic like Blizzard, Blizzard, Fire, Firaza, Water, Water, and also other special attacks that will destroy these enemies quickly. As long as we have tools to deal with the enemies, it's all fine, and we have them. We have the tools at our disposal. So many cool spells and things to do to enemies. You can never be bored with the fighting in Kingdom Hearts. Our goal is to get to the town. To get to town, we have to get through the forest and then through the underground sewers. Well, is that really a sewer? It's some sort of a tunnel. And then we're gonna meet... Uncle Scrooge. It's gonna be really nice to see Uncle Scrooge and what his plans are, how he plans on making money this time around. We all know that Uncle Scrooge likes to make money but doesn't like to spend it, that's why he's got a lot of it. Time to head to the underground tunnels and deal with the enemies there. Underground conduit, that's the name of the location, not the tunnel. Doesn't matter, it looks similar, right? More important thing is that we get through these couple enemies first and then reach the town again. Thankfully none of these enemies are truly for wet because Sora has second form, has some all sorts of magic with Donald Duck's help that when he heals and Goofy's help to tank all the damage so that Sora can deal his own damage, enemies don't stand a chance. With a theme like this, enemies simply can't do much to us. That's how we want it, right? No one will... No one will make problems to my theme, to Mickey's theme. Here we are back in town. Well, bless Whoa. my bagpipes. It was you laddies who rescued mm -hmm. my chef. I can't do strange. Huh? Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right. But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler. Cool. <laughs> How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a shelf? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for ya! Hmm... What is it? Wow! wow cake! Hmm? Huh? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce... Little Chef. Oh, oh it's you. Uncle Scrooge, you open the bistro and try on town. Hi. It all started a little while ago when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I finance the whole operation. 
Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients, especially anything unusual. That'll be fun. Kind of like a scavenger hunt. And the more, the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. <laughs> that tart short, sure it looks scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. So we need to help Little Chef and grab the ingredients. I'm gonna do that quickly and then get back to Little Chef to see what he can create for us and how we can help Uncle Scrooge. It shouldn't be an issue. We're gonna skip right ahead to, to handing in the ingredients so that we see what they want from us. Hey! Guys! Huh? Oh. Painter, Olette. Uh, hey, boss. Uh, Done with the posters. Uh -huh. Hi. Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You download this, Uncle Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry and eager to spend their money. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. Gore, she sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm -hmm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case... We'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. Our journey in the Twilight Town is over. We've done everything that we can. Now we can go to other worlds. At least for now, the journey in Twilight Town is over. So thank you for watching and join in for the next part. <laughs>